Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Settler's Path, Grievance Global Gaming Network's Wildstar Podcast. I'm here, Dashiva. Here with Strig. You can see him right there in the bottom left corner. I'm here. I'm here. Strig. He's so cool. <laughs> and we have Waffle, who had He's some awful. camera troubles. <laughs> but you can see him. You can see him right here in the bottom right. What's up? This is my true form. I wish we I've had never, like a, never I wish seen we you had a, a waffle that would like move. Well, <laughs> just a waffle dancing. <laughs> you know. Yep. You do it right. Yeah. So sorry for the technical difficulties today, but waffle will be a waffle today. My bad, guys. On my bad. Cast. Yes. But other than that, everything's gonna go as planned. Sure. Woo. Yes. So. With extra that, waffles. Yeah, extra waffles, extra Oreos. Looks like a s'more waffle. A, a s'more, s'more. S'more. S'more waffle. Looks like you had a rough day in PvP. <laughs> <laughs> we did not have that on Saturday. Uh, no, we didn't. We had a good time. Uh, yes, History. <laughs> we really did. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I did it have fun. fun. It was I fun. I did have fun. No I, have, I have issues with PvP, but it was it was fun. Yeah. It was it was fun because we were with guildies and we were with friends and we were having a good time. So the playing of it was was very fun. The winning and losing I felt really didn't make a difference because they've got issues. <laughs> <laughs> I had fun and I'm not a PvP person, so. But I'm now. really not either. But I am now. Yeah. <laughs> you are now. Welcome to the world. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna welcome to the world. Sounds like you're yeah. saying like Warcraft after that. Yeah, I'm not welcome no. to the world no, of I... nothing. Don't worry Don't about go it. There. Yeah. Don't go there. <laughs> and sentence stops. Yes. Okay. So now we haven't heard anything yet, but what are we going to do without a Wild Star Weekend? Oh, probably. We keep, we annoying keep hoping. Lots. We keep hoping. Yeah, <laughs> lots. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna accomplish so much. Streak is like I do not want. A bonus weekend. I have so much work I have to get done, and I kind of been putting things off to the side for my beta weekend so I can fit it all in and everything. And then they throw bonus weekends in there, and I'm in there all day again. And I'm like, I've got so much real life stuff to do. I need a weekend off. <laughs> I know. Me too, actually. This would be kind of nice. And it's like, every time it's up, you feel like you have to be in there, but then you're realizing yes. that you're always spending all this time for... Well, what? because they do so many changes, and it's like every time they do these mass changes and everything, it's like, I have to be in there to find out what the changes are and how it plays out and how it affects everything. And... Well, I think last weekend was just like, oh, it's not crashing as much. That was yeah. <laughs> I was hoping for a new UI yeah. last weekend, which we didn't get, and I... Of course, I'm still waiting for my guild add-on tool to be fixed, but yeah. uh, but yes, but uh, you know, I'm I'm trying to run that um, that spell slinger, so I really wanted to get in there last weekend and start leveling up my spell slinger to get them up there, so I could try healing in a dungeon. So I, you know, it was up. I had to be in there. Yep. Yeah, when it's up, you're just like, uh, I guess I'll be in there. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I guess I won't accomplish anything. But we I have no self control. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we will this weekend unless they surprise us like tonight, Austin, or at PAX I'm tomorrow. They're that. like, oh, by the way, the servers are up. Yeah, I doubt with PAX going on. Yeah, I doubt. There's that one guy they that. left behind. <laughs> one guy, run the servers. Oh, poor Carl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> run the servers with all the new changes and the new UI and everything. Good luck. Go. <laughs> okay. Well, so, you know they gotta have something up because they're gonna be having live demos of the game. Yeah, but they could just have a server pack. there. Yeah. So if they can have a server there, I think I should be allowed to kill people. <laughs> <laughs> a server server for maybe a couple thousand people, not the entire world. You know, Waffle, I gotta say, you, you don't look very threatening in your current form. <laughs> <laughs> it's my final form. It's, it's I will give you diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> my ultimate attack oh man that is oh attack diabetes. cholesterol <laughs> a heart attack <laughs> yep that's the new class the waffle okay so last weekend we did pvp 
some organized PvP with uh, Gospel Gangsta loves the Doom Waffle. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Raps for Jesus. So how did we enjoy it? I know we mentioned a little bit, but Strig, as a non pvp -er and adamant non pvp -er, I wouldn't say adamant. I am I, I am PvE adamant. focused. I I usually I mean, come on. I I've been in beta for a very very long time, and I've not touched PvP at all until Waffle Sacrilege. took control and dragged me in. And you know, it's the same thing with every game. I, I like hesitate and hesitate and hesitate, and then somebody eventually drags me in, and I just have a ton of fun. Uh, so it is enjoyable. I had a great time with it. I gotta say, you know, I'm not an expert for pvp by any stretch of the imagination but i've talked to a lot of people that are diehard pvpers that, that play a lot and it wasn't just me in the thinking that uh there's some real issues with that and, and it was like you queue up you go in there and what do you do you, you look at the two teams and say who's got most medics oh they're gonna win and then you spend 10 15 minutes running around just so the inevitable happens the team with the most medics wins <laughs> yes and we had a few. That's why we kept winning. Well, yeah, then then everybody figures that out and everybody starts running out and saying, well, I, th this is not the classic one to play a release, but everybody's creating medic alts so that we can... <laughs> so so that we can win if PvP. You yeah, if you can't beat them, join them. So, you know, yeah. everybody, now all of a sudden you go out and play PvP and it's just a crap ton of medics running around. <laughs> well, we did pretty well. I mean, we only ran, what, four medics in our group? And, you I know... Think two of them were only healing. We're healing. Right. Yeah, we did very because we had we had one of the medics sitting with the defense guys guarding our our uh, our masks, and then I had one of them with me because I was you know running the stealing team, and we did very well with you know running it like that. So I had, but that's kind know. of the thing. If you get like like we were saying, I mean, if you have at least you know four medics on a ten man team, you're you're pretty invincible at that point. Yeah. I mean, well, for a hey, while, you know. for a while there, we had like one dude running around with a tiki mask, and he's got like two medics following him, and we've got like a swarm of people like blowing the crap out of these guys, and you're like <laughs> not even touching their health, and they run across the whole map like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like this is just ridiculous. So yeah, but the good thing is there were, uh, you know, there were uh, there was the update put in place, and a lot of nerfing across the board. For everybody, yeah. oh, I mean, yeah. nobody, nobody was safe. I noticed <laughs> in those patch notes, especially the warrior, which I'm kind of upset about. But you know, I'm not going to judge it too much until I get in and actually see what they've done to my wonder, wonderful, glorious, beautiful class, and then hopefully they just destroy the medic. <laughs> <laughs> well, like the hard, well, I think the hardest part, right? About the, it's, it's not necessarily that like they heal too much, but the fact that when they're healing everybody else, they're healing themselves all at the same time. Or that their yeah. their main ability, their what what would you call it? I forget the name. The main ability of the healing one. But emissions. It, yeah, emissions. It doesn't cost anything, or you just keep pressing it, and you're, you're yeah. healing people. Yeah, just spamming. Yep. Yeah. And you can run all around and do everything with it. So yeah. It's like, how do how do they fix that? Like they can't just say, oh, it's gonna work for less because then, that's where the whole PvP and PVE balancing is gonna kind of hurt for the medic because like how how do you how do you say oh we need to nerf this but they need to be this strong in pve yeah well i noticed that uh rail came in and said almost everyone's crying a nerf on their class well well yeah but i'm also thinking about what they did to change the stat points what was it uh assault power and support power they did a big change on the on the stat for that instead of being what 0.5 it's now a whole point or something like that yeah I'm, they, they pretty much hit all close. of them and, and i'm okay with with what they did across the board and, and trying to downgrade everybody a little bit because they thought everybody was a little overpowered and you know that's cool yeah. and, and from what i've played and i've played i've played uh the four classes that i've been working on the medic the esper the spell slinger and the stalker and i played all four of them to you know low 20s over and over and over again <laughs> mm -hmm. and i get the feeling that they're pretty well balanced 
the healer classes across the board in PVE. So I'm I'm not really thinking that there's a balance issue so much, um, except for inside of PVP and. Um, well, like like Shalag brought out that Shalag is Shalali. Is it Shalali? Shalali. Well, I don't. Shalali. That's, that's what Neonia Shalali. calls. <laughs> Shalali. Shalali. <laughs> it's Shalali. Shalali. It, it's Shalali, I guess. Shalali. Okay. But that this isn't tuned for our level fourteen PVP or the twenty plus, but it's it's going to be balanced at fifty, right? Because that's when it's. Gonna it matter. could be. I mean, I guess yeah. I guess I would have to ask people that are in the thirty plus zones whether they still are noticing a difference. I mean, if if it's only for if it was only for the six to fourteen, I wouldn't have a problem with it because you're going to help pass that real fast. But the next wave is like fifteen to twenty nine. I mean, that's a pretty big range to be unbalanced. It's more than yeah. half the game. Yeah, yeah, it um, is, and you know, I feel because of what Carbine's been harping on since day one is, you know, this game is, they want you in the end game. That's where they want you. They don't want you messing around in lower tiers. But then again, you also got to think, you know, for me, I'm going to at least attempt to level through PVP and gear my guy through PVP on release. And if I can do it successfully, I want to be able to do it well and not feel completely nerfed, you know, in that, in that way. But if I gotta wait till fifty to really, really start hitting it hard, I have to wait till fifty. You know, there's plenty of other ways to level. Yeah. yeah. You know, so I'm not terribly worried about it, but it will kind of bum me out if I'm not able to successfully, you know, fully do it because that that's kind of my goal for this game, and it's really my goal for any MMO that I jump into is can I level through PvP? If I can, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Well, I'm when we were doing it that I mean when we had that ten man group, a lot of us had to jump out because we were out leveling. The, yeah, and we just did four matches, right? Yeah, and you don't think that it would actually bump you up that fast, and you're just you're not really paying attention to your XP bar. And you're like, oh, oh now, crap! Do you I get love more it. XP when you win. Uh, I've noticed there is a slighter. It slight seems like it, right? Bump when you win, you get you know you're gonna get more prestige, uh, you know, of course, in your loot. You get the loot box instead of the little bag. You know, you're gonna get the box which has a higher rate for the dropping of the the actual items, which is nice, but. You know, I didn't notice too much of a huge bump in XP gain, which I'm okay with. So, yeah, but it seemed, you know, it seemed, you... it seemed good enough, right? Like, or mm-hmm. even better than I thought it would be. Yeah, it was much better than I thought it would be. I was, I was very happy with it, and I hope they they keep on that road and keep it, you know, balanced in that in that aspect. Whereas the PVE guys, you know, go ahead, do your PVE, do all your stuff, you know, and but you know, they. I hope they really remember us PVP guys and well, keep our XP, you know, cranking at the same rate. They they said that they want to keep that fairly well balanced mm-hmm. time spent compared to the level process, and and which makes sense. And I mean, leveling PVE method six to fourteen is really quick, also. So oh yeah, yeah. that doesn't really surprise me, and I you don't do that really have a problem with that. But you know, the game really starts significantly slowing down leveling wise once you get into the the upper teens and lower 20s you you start getting a little bit slower on the leveling curve so like i said that next wave of pve or pvp that runs from 15 all the way to 29 i mean that could even with the good experience could take a while to get through and and that's even assuming i haven't heard if i don't know if you guys have but that's even assuming that they're balanced at 50 or whatever yeah i mean and, I, I you know, I, I feel that, that where you're saying that that curve is in the XP gain, I feel like that's the area where you're really going to start learning your class and really, really learning how to play the game. So I, you know, I applaud them for slowing it down so it gives people a chance to be like, oh, so this is what I got to do. Okay. So, you know, it, it really helps people learn their skills, what's going to happen when they fire off certain things and how to really combine their their skills and their amps and you know how they have to move their characters so yeah. especially I mean, in that area you don't you know when get you your hit last, 20 uh, ability slot until level 30 right yeah you, you know yeah. in level 20 area that's when you know 17 to 20 that's when you got your first dungeon storm talent you know and that is a huge learning curve that's where you really need to learn how to play <laughs> your character or you're going to wipe 30 billion times 
like we did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that wasn't our fault. Precisely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see after that. Like that'll be the thing. Like once we jump in next weekend for the all these changes and everything. Yeah, like, it'll be how, how, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how we do with healing or tanking or what the damage is like or what's the healing like for these dungeons. Yeah, I feel well, like they the did say in the still look off. Yeah, the the patch notes did mention that uh, they made an adjustment to the overland or boss mobs, like similar to the overland boss mobs, that they're they were doing too high white damage. Uh, yeah. So they scaled that back. Now, I don't know if okay. that well, finally, also includes <laughs> I th- I boss think, mobs and dungeons. I don't know. I think that was the hardest part, though, right? For at least our dungeon run, was it? It wasn't yeah, that we couldn't sail the that... red or like we didn't get what oh, we yeah. needed to do. But that white damage, it was like, how in the heck do we heal through that? Oh, jump? yeah. Yeah. You know, I was I was thinking at the time I was getting hit for 4 to 5k on white damage alone. That's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. That you might as well just stand in the red rather than hit, get hit by the white damage. <laughs> and the, yeah. the big heals from the healers are like a thousand, yeah, four hundred yeah. or something, you know. And here it's comes like the you big can't, heal. can't keep up like, with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay, drop in the bucket, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can't it's, it's gene cast that. So yeah, that's that's it, the only it, thing that it, really sucks. It sucked reminded about. me of like trying to heal. Um, I know. Did you ever play well uh, EverQuest Street? <laughs> from March of 99 when it released for way too many years, okay. yes. Did you play EQ2? <laughs> EQ2? I did. Okay, like a Necro with their uh, their life, or what was their, like, huge ability that they use their health as their damage, and so, like, in raids, you oh. have to heal them, and you have yes. to keep healing them so they could do the most damage, or else they died. The mana leech mm. there where you took the mana from... Not mana oh. leech, that was, like, the oh. wizard, but, like, life... Tap, not life tap, life, but life. No, 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 no. Something like that. But, it, like, to me, it seemed like that because I used to heal people, like, and they'd say, oh, I'm using this ability right now. And so you have to heal them. Like, all healers would heal the necromancer. And you just see their health bar, like, go back and forth, like, up, down, up, down, up. Like, and that's how it felt trying to heal <laughs> these things just for the white <laughs> damage. It was just like, there's my heal. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was like so much damage it was like you can't do anything else but just be healing this tank and forget everybody else yes so i'm glad i hopefully that means that they're lowering the the white damage for bosses and dungeons and everything so sorry for the uh the yes sidetrack the the, 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 the sidetrack uh, ever knowledge but I remember yeah. you could go into skeleton form and it would automatically like yeah, leech your points. Yeah. To the <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Anyways, Waffles, what is this? Ah. <laughs> so okay, so we're, we're we're talking about the new patch, and the biggest news that everyone's looking forward to finally. I mean, we saw this what a month ago, two months ago, the new UI. I don't think it was that long ago, was, was it? it? Maybe a month ago, maybe, maybe month tops, ago. three, four weeks ago. So now we get to finally... Yeah, they teased us. Yeah, they teased us, and then it's like every, <laughs> every beta weekend that showed up, we're like, oh, it's not in yet. Oh, it's not in yet. Oh, it's not in yet. But it was before the pre-order. I know that. It was right around that same time, yeah. Yeah. And so, the new UI. We've Yay. seen it before. But here's the, uh, here's the pick of the old, or the current, or not current anymore, because now we could patch the new UI in. And so then, we think we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the new one. Like it, it's so such a difference. Like, but it looks cooler. It looks more Wildstar. Well, yeah. It's not just the look. You you don't have that big glob in the like center right in the middle, of your yeah. screen. Yeah, yeah right in the middle where slow. you're trying to look at your character and the telegraphs and all that stuff is just really it's, in a bad place. Good. It, it's it's streamlined it's sexy i like it yes and it's one mobile yes you can move things around and do it whatever works for you which i think is really cool yeah customizable ui but i like I the think... i like the like the character health bars and everything how yeah they're kind of separate from it so you can move those wherever you want because you really uh yeah like uh you know shillelagh said it you know it's more fewer you love but if I can talk futuristic and less wow like you know they're they're trying to break from that that wow mold now which i'm i go About for time it. right yeah yeah break that mold please 
that's, that's something that needs to be uh, broken many times over. Yeah, <laughs> and it's and when you look at it, it's still the same functional UI. It just looks pretty awesome. Yeah, it does. It looks I like clean. It. Yep. Looks. Slick, I like it. <clears throat> looks sexy. You got everything there, not stacking bars on top of bars on top of bars anymore. Yeah. It's you know, yeah, yeah one like, like I like how the the additional bars for like the food or the health potions and stuff is off to the sides now, rather than oh, it's taking up the whole middle spot and pushing everything up. Like this makes more sense. They carry an awful lot of food. Look at all those yeah. food. Things. I know. Yeah. I was <laughs> yeah. Like, do they really food need to days. eat that much? Yeah. Must be a oh, granok. Yeah. <laughs> It is. Mm-hmm. Look at it. it's a little grana right there. Hungry man. Hungry man. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that is pretty cool. I can't wait to oh, get to play with this. Did you guys see too that they're uh, they're giving like more customizable stuff like hairs and oh yeah and the stuff what body hairs? customization hairs body yes. customization new Custom hair all sorts of cool stuff now oh. yeah yeah you create like, your character again <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll make another. Mordash, just Another to check Mordash. it out, see what I can do. See if I can make a midget Mordash. It'll be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> tiny Mordash. You're like, there had to be dead people that were tiny, and so yeah, you need to. Little people die too. Yeah, little people I, die. I doubt they're gonna be that scalable. I mean, can you make <laughs> a six foot jewel or something? <laughs> yes, I can. No, I, yes, I know I one can. thing. <laughs> one thing they were actually pretty adamant about is kind of trying to keep with the general you know, outline of the uh, the specific races so they're more identifiable in a PvP situation. So you can tell, okay, that's that's not a human, that's or a Cassian, that's a Mordash. I should, you know, probably go get that or whatever, you know, if you're on the Dominion side, but nobody really talks about them, so it's okay. Yes. Well like I forget what race it is on the Dominion side, but like every time I saw a um uh... Uh, what is it? I can't even think of it. But they're they have the the rocks or whatever on or the geodes like on their head and oh the Makari the Makari yeah yeah this is the Makari like, the robotic one. Every time yeah. I saw them, like I instantly thought of a stalker for some reason. I don't know why, <laughs> but like most of the time I see a stalker, it's a Makari because I think it's yeah. probably the coolest looking race that can be a stalker because the other ones are just like human like or. Yeah, I th- I think they make pretty cool gunslinger, uh, not gunslingers, spell slingers also. Yeah, I don't know the little the little puppy dogs they got over there kind of make good stalkerish type. The little puppy dog. What are what are those little those little pet uh, doggies? Those, those hamsters? No, 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 the dogs, not the not the gerbils, it's dogs. Um, come on, somebody help me out. The dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. the the dragon. Oh, dragon. Thank you. Draken. Yes, the dragon. Yes. They yes. do make awesome stalkers. They were made for no, the stalkers. No, that's the race I was thinking. This and or warrior class. Every you time mean the ones I, with the horns? Yeah, the horn. Every time, yeah, yeah. every time I saw. About geodes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was, I was. Speaking. <laughs> but the every time I saw a draken, I instantly thought of a stalker. Yes. Because the way they run and everything, it just looks like, I don't know, like they're sneaking around or something. So I remember during the stream. Uh, last weekend, I saw a draken, and I was like, "There's a stalker following me," but it was like a warrior. <laughs> but I was like, I instantly thought, like, okay, the way they're running, like to me, I recognize that as a stalker, not as a warrior. But yeah, I was wrong. I I just saw a bunch of flashing lights. I don't think I ever paid attention to what <laughs> you know, what, what race they were. Yeah, what, who was attacking me? Like, well, this well, they when, got red names and a lot of flashy lights. This is when I was stealing. I was stealing. So it was just like me and another person standing there. And I was like, I'm taking the mask. And then I see them running up. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So lots of new changes. Super exciting. I think the one I'm most excited for, though, is the one you guys are talking about before the cast. The change Ooh. to the stun. Stun change. Oh, yes, the stun change. Stun change. Eener, eener to all of you macro people. Yeah, no more F keys. Everyone in the chat see that? No more F key. No more F. -F 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 -F
which <laughs> like, that won't be hard for me because I never can find my F key for some reason. It's right there, but it's like the farthest key from my mind. Yeah, I don't but, really. But now you're not gonna have to like tap it in succession, right? It's just gonna be hold nope. it. Yeah, down. hold it down like you're running in that direction, and it'll yep. okay. unstun you faster. Good. Because it's like, oh, like the person this is someone who can get out of stun. The That's person that it. makes the macro is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So excited. The rest of I'm, us I'm, just I'm, eating the crap out of our I, keyboards. I thought that was the le- <laughs> I thought that was the, the least fun mechanic of all of Wildstar. Was, oh, dang it, I'm stuck. Yes. It was cool the first couple times you quick. saw it. Nick, yeah. Oh quick, wow. Quickly cool. Quickly was like, all right, this is it's gonna like go. It's like a quick time event, <laughs> but that's you're just sitting there, you're just like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, on streams, it's like super loud. It's like, oh, I'm stuck. Da, 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 da. You're already like clicking every key known to man right now and yeah. slowly destroying your keys. Yeah. And, and then, then like, the F key master. comes up and you're just that's end of days for that F key. Yep. Poor F key. <laughs> <laughs> the F key is F. It it got to the point where I just quit <laughs> doing it. I was just like, I'm gonna sit here for a while. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whatever. I felt that way too. You get stoned, you kinda just give up. Whatever. Yeah, you're just like I eh, I'm yes. probably gonna die anyway. <laughs> Yeah, it was like so unfun. I was like, uh, please change this. Please do anything other than yeah. F, 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 F. Yes, yes, you're you're right. You still get to you still get to do things to get out of stunts quicker, which is good that they kept that functionality to it. I'm just glad they got rid of the pounding the crap out of the keyboard. Yeah, for PvP and PVE, I'm like, I'm just ecstatic about this. It's like the best. <laughs> it's better than the new UI. It's like yeah, it. You know, that, that functionality of being able to get out of crowd control like that is something that that can give every player the same edge, but you have to work for it, you know? Yeah. You have to put forth that finger effort, I guess. <laughs> the you know? What if they made it like a uh, like a Simon... You know how they have those, like, Simon Says uh, color-coded I, things? Or for some reason, I always left, fail. Right? I don't know why. <laughs> I'll, like, write down what it did, and I'll be following. And be, for some reason, it's like, nope, you failed. Shocked. Okay. They, they should make that the stun release. Like, <laughs> red, red, do. green, red. Uh, uh, I don't remember. Everybody's I'm Everybody's going to start, start hooking up Xbox uh, connects, and you have to do a dance to get out from now on. A dance? Quick, what? clap your hands. Yeah. <laughs> uh. You have to do some man work to get out. Yeah, you got to do some man work. Yeah. Do 10, ten pull-ups. Go. Hmm. I don't have a pull-up bar. Cool, you're going to stand stop. <laughs> All complicated. All tired after a Successfully a do the worm. Go. Yes. Okay. So, we don't have anything this weekend, but the next exactly. weekend. New UI, new changes, new everything, new F key. <laughs> what it's... what do we plan on doing for that weekend? What are we looking forward to getting into? Straight into PvP to see, what, see what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's dying. Medics are dying everywhere. Good. Oh, my gosh. God, you know, I don't know. Street, I think it's going to be Street's going to re-roll. Yeah, I mean, really. I mean, I guess the first thing I'm going to do is go in and look at the different customizations. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. See how many new different looks are out there and see if there's any that are really cool that I'm like, ooh, I got to have that. You know, oh, I love that color hair or something, you know. Uh, and then from there, I have to see, because if you look at that list, it's like a bazillion miles long of all the tweaks that they're doing to the class balancing and and i'm really curious on how that affects all the classes between you know pve and pvp and damage and healing and tanking well i'm not going to check out tanking but i will i'll do that for you it's it's almost going to have to make me like look back at all of the healing classes and say okay which one feels better now (laughs) yeah i think it's it's really gonna i think I'm hoping what it does is causes some people to roll new characters, you know, maybe what, break this uh, the, never ending medic. Of the looks? Or Not just because of the it looks, but because of the changes, <laughs> maybe it'll make people think, you know, well, maybe we need to start checking out characters that you actually have to try to play yeah. instead of, I'm just going to face heal everything in my path, including myself, you know, maybe, maybe they didn't really, nerf them that hard and there's you know still the same no until you get in there i hear i see they did a lot of amp changes too 
Yeah, it's a lot of amp changes. I think the so, only ones that didn't get it with the NGs. Engineers yeah. didn't get touched much on amp. Uh, I don't think the medic had a very long list of touches either. I think they were one of the shorter lists. Are they just, um, are they just uh, buffing everybody else and letting the medic just stay there? <laughs> or are they nerfing everybody else and they're like, the medic stays the same? They yeah, had hits seems... to them. It just it was a small Nothing list. Substantial. So it it might have been bigger hits, it, but a smaller list of them. I don't really know. Yeah. I see they hit them on damage, which, to be quite honest, if they hit them on damage, that's... That's a, a step in the right direction for me because I noticed that medics were doing, you know, in the lower, the lowest, the, you know, first tier PVP, I was getting hit for like four or five hundred from medics, and you know that's that's not cool. Yeah. You know, whereas my warrior or my spell slinger is only doing like two hundred, maybe three hundred. Yeah, same with a stalker. Like what's their going normal on. hit is just kind of two hundred, two fifty, or whatever. But then you're getting hit by that stupid medic and it's like 400 500 uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> they just keep hearing it yeah dubstep music yeah and uh, it just annoys you You're like please don't kill me <laughs> yeah i definitely got to get my my spell slinger into some adventures and dungeons and check out the healing on that because unless they decide to open the uh more dash up to allow them to be espers. Uh, I'm probably going to wind up going spell slinger because I got to play more dash. They're just too cool looking. <laughs> yeah, thank so. you. So I, hate, <laughs> so I hate to ruin this for you guys, but I'm going to have to get to know the Dominion side. They're all playing you. Exile, anyways. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, save the, it for launch. I, well, I that's I, <laughs> I I'm gonna just, I want to at least level a character to like 20 or something just so I'm familiar with the leveling path, get familiar with the city and everything, so that when I get in there, okay, I know where everything's at for at least the first day. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to be an issue. We, we got at least, what, two more beta weekends if they don't throw in any extras, and then they're going to have, and like, a have two, three beta. week non-stop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't so. wait for that any time. Like, yeah. it was funny, like, we had access to it any time for how long, Shriek? Or you, for oh. the year, right? Yeah. <laughs> I had access for yeah. a long time too. Not as long as streak, but you know, it was nice. You know, I'd be, I get home on Tuesday, and I was like, oh, I'll play some Wildstar today. Yeah. And now it's just like I'm home. Now, well, now, I'm just now that sitting it gets there looking at it, but it was kind of like uh, you put it off. Like, okay, like the game isn't gonna. Lo- We're still in. Yeah, I know. I feel like beta, so you kind of put it see. off. Like whatever. Like I don't need to play it. And now it's like we can't get enough because launch is almost here. We got to get to know the game and get to know the classes and what are we gonna play and what's this dungeon like and what's the PvP like. Now it's like a rush to yeah. to be knowledgeable well, yeah. about it. You know, I'll be honest with you. For me, it was more of once they released the let let out the release date and then gave the pre orders and whoever pre ordered got into beta. It really brought our guild a chance to all get into the game and get excited about it so it was to me i'm getting more into it not so much because we're getting closer to release but more because we've got a mass influx of guildies being able to actually get into the game and play and it's just so much more fun when you're playing yeah with exactly people. i think that was the problem too is like there's three of us maybe yeah and it's and like, like, oh, you guys want to do something? We're all different levels, and we can't really help each yeah. other. Yeah, one of the three people's dash, and I really don't want to play with him. So, yeah. you know. <laughs> I mean, I was all excited during Christmas because it was like, what am I gonna do for time off and stuff? And and I got a key and everything. I was like, yeah, in all December and everything. But but then I didn't play. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I played, but then it was like, but no one's on, so it was like kind of boring. Yeah. Especially once you get like fourteen, fifteen, it starts to get really tough, soloing. Yeah. Quest by yourself, and back then I thought it was a little harder than it is now. I think it was too. But, I think you a, know, lot, a lot of the telegraphs really, really hurt. Plus, I think in in those lower levels, one or two levels makes a world of difference. And I think once we start getting guildies in there, we started running some adventures. And you would gain like an extra level or two, you know, like that. And then you go back and do your solo quest. Now all of a sudden, you, that one extra level or two that you got from running adventures, all of a sudden the content seems so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. I th- but 
Okay. Well, speaking of next yeah. weekend. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Nyonia, our, uh, the exile recruiting officer that we have. Woot, woot. Exiles. She. <laughs> Are you eating waffle? <laughs> Where did no. you go? <laughs> also, it just sounded like your mouth was full. You started eating waffle. Yeah, I'm eating. <laughs> okay. Yes. No camera. I do what I want. <laughs> yeah, no camera. I'm going to start eating. Start I got a down. shirt on. What's oh. up? All right. <laughs> It's okay. None of us are wearing pants. Huh. But you Wait. Can... You're supposed to wear pants. <laughs> Did you see the new things neonia has been making? Awesome looking stuff, man. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I was going to show that. I got these pics here. But, oh, you got pics? But next Rick, weekend, awesome. um, next Saturday, Nine is going to be streaming Wildstar. And so if you would like to win some of these, she has a few of these things that she makes. What are they, Clay? Yes. Okay, clay. 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 Yeah, Clay. That she's been making for Wildstar. We've got these veggies. She, she was showing off the veggies ones today. You got the carrot here. I like the carrot. I want the carrot. I don't know if anybody can see the Car carrot. But... Car carrot I looks like it. carrot was half eaten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, why is the carrot so stubby? It's a. <clears throat> it's those short carrots that they they pull out of the ground before they they're half grown. <laughs> And then, of course, she had the Rose Dower. Yeah, it's pretty cool cooler. stuff. And randomly, she was like, maybe I'll give this away. It was like Wonder Woman. What? what? I missed that one. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. She's like, maybe I'll give this away on Twitter. Wonder Woman. So you got everything Wildstar and Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah, why not? If, why not? If you want a chance at maybe winning some of these, some unique handmade play figures from Wildstar, then tune into our stream. Just watch her. A bunch of us will be playing with her and have a chance at winning some vegetables. Woot woot! Woot woot. Indeed. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. That's Waffle. pretty cool stuff. Every time I switch the screen back to the our cameras and everything, I get hungry. <laughs> I'm like, man, I want some waffles. That's why. That's what I said. Waffles never looked so good. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. I'm going to Disney World, and I can't wait to have like a waffle sandwich. They have waffle sandwiches. Yes. I had a waffle taco from Taco Bell. You did? Yeah. How was it? Oh yeah. Um, it gave me diarrhea. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I expected. I expected that's what that... you get from mixing Mexican with waffles. It yeah, just uh, yeah, yeah. I was just yeah. Worth it just taco. every second. <laughs> Like the the little holes and the the little buckets inside the waffle are like grease traps for the sausage. No buckets of deliciousness. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the buckets of deliciousness. Yes. Uh, the buckets of yeah. Okay. Well, we better wrap this up. We've got our EverQuest next cast coming up next after this. Maybe next week we'll have some live waffle. I know, right? I think it's fixed now because I can see street. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> randomly. Lucky you. Just, yeah, randomly. <laughs> oh, you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here. See me? I see you. Can you see me now? No. <laughs> I see you. Yeah. Got to get rid of it. Oh, yeah, there he is. There's yeah. Waffle. What's up? Waffle. Waffle's what? eaten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah see you. There we go. There's Waffle. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Waffle before we go. Hi. <laughs> Jack. Yep. Yeah. I've gone go. back to my. My original form. You know. Put the other <laughs> picture back up, will you? <laughs> you're, not, you're, not, you're not the all powerful waffle anymore. You're just. Pretty. I'm too pretty for streaming. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for being on the cast, guys. Thanks for talking. Excited about next weekend. Hopefully, we have something for this weekend, but I doubt it. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Dark. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Make sure to stay tuned in the next. 15 20 minutes for the everquest cast and follow us on twitter grievance gaming at dash eva and go to our youtube and hit subscribe grievance gaming thanks for watching everybody have a good night yeah that guy's I was on here for like 30 seconds <laughs> 30 seconds too much get off <laughs> uh.